Hey guys, welcome back to Practically Creative with Melissa. We are once again working on the Quilt Builder card box. This is copyright 2018 by CNT Publishing, and I'm using it more as inspiration for the next block to do in the series rather than following all of the directions on the card box. Today's block is a really easy one. This is called the Turn Dash. And this is in every single quilt out there, it seems like. I am going to be doing it my way rather than following their directions. I'll put a close-up of this card in there. But they want you to cut all of your little squares for the corners before you sew them together. I don't like sewing on bias edges, so I'm going to do the half square triangles just a little bit differently. So let's go ahead and go over to the sewing machine and I will show you how I'm putting this together. And then I'll bring you back and we'll show you the final block. So here we are at the sewing machine. I've got everything cut and I wanna say a couple of things up front. I'm doing a lot of churn dashes for a quilt. I would definitely do Magic HSTs, the Magic 8, and do that um, to create my half square triangles for everything. And I would do these parts as strips rather than, you know, as long strips rather than cut them to size and sew them. But since I'm only doing one block, this is how we're going to do it today. I have my diagonal seam tape on here. I'm doing about a 1.8 stitch length. And I'm going to form my HSTs by putting my squares here, lining them up with the quarter inch mark on my diagonal seam tape. This may be super easy for some of you, but I'm doing this so that beginners can do these rather than those of us with lots of experience. So let's do this. Then I'm just going to keep right on going. Put my next one in. Keep the corner lined up at the quarter inch mark on that diagonal seam tape. Put it around and do the same thing again. Now that those are sewn, I'm just going to take my strips and I'm going to sew them one right after the other with a quarter inch seam allowance. And you can use either the edge of your presser foot here or the edge of your seam tape to keep your seam allowance right. Then we just repeat that with all the pieces. Just gonna double check, make sure I'm still all lined up. <clears throat> There's my centerpiece. And I'm just going to go ahead and open and press to the dark side on all of my strips. And I'm using a medium high heat 
this wool mat does not like being super hot, so I'm adjusting to it. And then I'm going to cut our half square triangles right down the center of those two seams. Trying to keep it as even as possible. And normally I would try to make my thread match. But I just, I want you guys to be able to see the stitch lines. And I'm not pulling on these. I'm just pressing them open, kind of rolling it over. And then I'll apply heat and that'll make everything lay down. You may notice that I do these all at one time because that makes, I do these all at one time because that's easier for me. And I do, so here we are at the cutting board. I'm just taking off the dog ears on my half square triangles. This doesn't have to be perfect. I just want them off of there. So that they don't interfere with my stitching. Rid of that. Okay, and now we're going to lay this down according to what the block requires. So here's our center block. And we're going to turn it so that our pink is in on all four sides. And then we're going to turn it so our pink is in at our corners. I double checked it against my card. I double checked it against my card to make sure I'm laying it out. So there's row one. Row two.
now that we have our three rows sewn together, we are going to put them together. So I'm going to nest my seams here. And I always nest that first seam, sew that part, and then worry about nesting the second one. Okay, let's take it back over to the iron. Okay, I'm going to give my block a little heat love here. I think I stole that term from Brandy at 100 Proof Quilter. I like it. So there's our block. And then I'm going to move, as you can see on this one side, it's a little wonky. So I'm going to square that up, fix that, and then even that up. Okay. And I'm looking for... Ten and a half by ten and a half, and I have it. Okay, okay. so we now have the churn dash block done. It matches the card, and of course, I used my own combination of colors for theirs. They would have used background fabric for that center but I really wanted something with a pattern in there. It's 10 and a half by 10 and a half, and I'm happy with it. If you are making a quilt completely out of these blocks, you probably want to cut your strips and sew long strips and cut them down to the proper size. And I would do the Magic 8 HST at a time in order to do the half square triangles. But since I was only making one block, I did break it down and just do enough to make this one block. All right, guys, thank you for watching. You have a great day. This